Hey folks, well we're here with Coachman's Sports Coach 339DS. We're here to talk a little bit about why this is not a poor man's diesel. It's a true, honest to goodness diesel pusher with all of the amenities and all of the style that you'd expect to see in some of the most expensive coaches, but at a heck of a value price and really with some features that you're not gonna find in some of those better coaches. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look back here. We've got a Cummins 6.3 liter, if I'm not mistaken, 6.7 liter, excuse me, 6.7 liter diesel engine. So she's going to 340 horsepower, about 700 foot pounds of torque. So she's going to do what she needs to do to get you through the mountains. We're going to have about an 8,000 pound hitch on the back, so you can definitely tow a nice vehicle behind. We've got a ladder with all of the reinforcement that you're going to need to get up there and look at your one piece fiberglass roof. So no TPO up there, one piece fiberglass, of course, a little bit less uh, of a, a, a maintenance issue. You're still going to want to get there and take a look at your seals, but certainly an amenity that you don't see in a lot of the competition. Sports Coach, as a matter of fact, is now one of the top 10 best selling diesel pushers in the market. We're going to talk a little bit more about why they are out distancing the competition. And they're in some pretty good competition. We're talking Newmar, Winnebago, Tiffin, Holiday Rambler, all of the big guys. Sports Coach is right in there. We're going to move a little bit this way. Of course, we've got beautiful full body paint here with the gel or with the, uh, the clear coat exterior, frameless windows, nice big healthy awning, but we've also got aluminum latch doors. And one of the things I'll point out here is this great big inch and a half thick bulb seal. That's going to grab this door and really make that feel tight. It's going to protect all your gear. This is an area where some of the competition skimps out, not coachmen. They're going to give you a lot of value. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I often talk about some of the best things in an RV or things that you cannot see. And that's true of Coachman. We're going to walk up here to a little sticker I want to point out to you. This little uh, decal that says Asdell, that's a plastic backer wall that they use and why would you care? Well, let me tell you what that does for you. Down inside the coach, if we were to get a leak inside the wall, and you've probably seen this, where the glues fail, the wood swell, and then your fiberglass starts to bubble off, well, that won't happen in a coach with Asdell. Um, your fiberglass is gonna stick tight. We know ultimately too, that if that fiberglass were to start peeling off, that's gonna compromise the strength of your wall. Not going to happen again with Asdell. It's formaldehyde free, it's half the weight of wood, and it insulates better. So it's going to help your coach be not only warmer or cooler, whichever you prefer, but it's also going to be quieter going down the road. Now I'm going to scoot around to the front. I'm going to show you another really cool feature. Of course, we've got the little frameless window, doggy window. Everybody likes that, but it's also a safety feature as well so that you can see things that are right along the coach. We've got some nice low positions, uh, turn signal activated side cameras, big honest to goodness bus mirrors. I'm gonna come over here and pop this latch here. There's a little handle here that says hood release. I'm gonna pull that. I'm gonna walk over here and now I can pull out your Cummins 6,000 watt generator on this great slide tray. This is awesome. You can get to it to service it easily. Everything is um, accessible. You can see your generator hours. And then when you're done, just pop that close. Boom, it's as easy as that. Now we're gonna step inside the Sports Coach 339DS. I'm gonna show you some even better features, things you didn't see out here. So join me inside. Thanks for coming inside the Sports Coach 339DS with me so I can talk a little bit more about how this diesel pusher is the honest to goodness real thing. So the first thing, I'm sitting here, we have a Freightliner chassis and I'm going to have one of the amenities that we love to see and that is a telescoping tilt wheel. Little um, pedal down here, I'm going to press that. I can tilt it down, I can pull it in or out and make it comfortable for me. So along with a power seat, I'm really gonna have a comfortable ride in these great big overstuffed comfy chairs that of course are gonna swivel around and join the rest of the living area. But a few things also, I wanted, a few other things I wanted to point out to you, I should say, we've got auto level, just as we would expect to see on any good diesel pusher. 
We've got a gen start. We're also going to have auto gen start as well. All of the, th the uh, um, functionality here with your sun visor and your shades. And it looks like I don't have those on right now. <laughs> um, our charging center, four USB ports. Isn't that awesome? That's in addition to a USB port over here for our passenger. This is your navigation and infotainment screen. This is also gonna be where you'll see your backup cameras displayed, as well as your turn signal activated side cameras. Now I'm gonna jump up and show you another really cool feature here. Coachman did away with a little pop-up desk that we've seen in so many of their Class A's, but I think they made an improvement when they did this. We have got a table, leg just inserts there very easily. This is the top and all of this is typically stored underneath the bed in the bedroom. And there we go. So this can be adjusted, moved from side to side. Chairs can swivel around and meet this in the middle. Whoops, I still don't have it on there, right? There we go. There we go. So this can become a workspace. So in addition to all of these USB charge ports, this is a great workspace or quick dining space. Pull over, get some drive through, um, just eat really quickly and be back on the road. Now I want to talk a little bit about the color scheme in here. Um, I've had a lot of people say, I don't know about white, that's kind of hospital. But I gotta tell you, I think Coachman really knocked it out of the park with this white um, finish on the woodwork. It just has a higher end, classy feel without being stark. And I think one of the things that softens it is this dove gray upholstery on your dinette. I like the fact that they went a little bit darker on the dinette. That's some place where we could possibly have food, um, other issues, drink spills. So a little bit darker is not gonna show the wear as much. And over here in our theater seats, which are power, lighted, and massage. They didn't skimp on those and they're, they're super comfortable, I have to tell you. They do have seat belts so you can go down the road. Kind of a, a cream color, which matches the cream color of the upholstery in the captain's and passenger chairs. So it kind of gets away from that starkness. We've got a great marble te looking texture to our vinyl flooring. Again, not gonna show the dirt where we would expect to see most of it. And the surface actually is very nice. It's very wipeable. It's not high gloss, but it's still gonna be very easy to clean. We're on solid surface countertops, which are gonna look nicer a lot longer. I love this feature. Little bit of a countertop extension right where you need it next to the sink and next to your cooktop. Of course, a traditional three burner LP cooktop, but a residential size microwave. I love this. Just what we wanna see. Of course, now you'll, if you've seen the refrigerator here, folks, I do have to give you a little, a little warning. You're not gonna get a blue refrigerator. This is actually a stainless steel. This is actually a protective cover that Coachman has put on this to, to uh, make sure that it looks nice and pretty when the, when the owners step in. Now, if we flip around here, Troy, one other thing I did want to show folks, the ceiling over the, um, over the, the cockpit, that is a bunk bed. And that whole thing is going to lower down, not the cabinetry, but the bed part is going to lower down, and that's going to give you additional sleep space. So your dinette will collapse. You'll have a guest bed up there. And that's operated with this key system right here. And I like the fact that it is a key system so that we don't have kids messing with this because the motor does not know that there's a child there the motor does not know there's a pet or or anything else so that's a great way to kind of keep everything super safe love the glass on the cabinetry it just gives it a little bit nicer high-end look we do have day night shades folks this is your privacy shade pull that up a little bit what you're seeing here looks like a screen that you can see out but i tell you if you could feel that heat this really does a great job of keep, keeping the heat down. So that's what your tinted windows are gonna look like without your, your day shade down. Doesn't really darken it that much, but it really is gonna help with your cooling costs. Now we're gonna step back in the bedroom, which is really a pretty bedroom. As we pass, you'll see this pass through bathroom. Know that Sports Coach comes in multiple floor plans. This just happens to be the 339DS. One of the advantages I think that this particular floor plan and the straight rail chassis has is a one um, piece floor. There, is, there are no steps. There's nothing to trip you up on. So as we walk into the bedroom where we would expect to see a little bit of a rise over the engine, it's flat. This, isn't, this is access to your mechanicals here. 
Here are your washer dryer, not necessarily stackable, but paired up. Most folks like the separate units. They think they work a little bit better than the combo. I've had my combo fans as well. Another interesting feature to show you too is Coachman's Coach Pop Station. If you use a breathing device, and I'm gonna crawl up here rather inelegantly, but know that back behind this light, ta-da, this is where your unit can go. You've got a 110 outlet, it's ground fault um, interrupted circuitry, and then your hoses can come down through this little, can you see my fingers wiggling? You can see your hoses will come down through that little area. Everything is put away, kept nice and out of the way so that your bedroom continues to look neat. One thing that Coachman has kept for 2022, and that is the secret compartment behind the television. You're gonna have this in the living space as well. This is the one in the bedroom. So if you're traveling with valuables, a firearm, or things you just don't want people to be able to find very easily, folks who are not familiar with RVs are probably not gonna know that that's a secret compartment. Well, we've taken a really fast look at the Sports Coach 339DS. I have so much more to tell you, but it won't fit in one video. My name is Susan Dillman Stills. I'm the lady with three names. Give me a call here at Mount Comfort RV. We'll talk some more.